these small historical sites where people are still buried. This is now prime for development. It's important to protect these sites where we found the unmarked burials. There's endless projects to do just within 15 minutes of Scarborough campus. So you can see even in 1975 it was pretty full already. The, the cemetery was established in 1830. A lot of the oldest plots, the headstones have been lost. You can see what happens over time. And many of them have disappeared. So we're gonna see if we can find those within our, our GPR sections. We've brought an instrument called a ground penetrating radar. So let's put the radar together. We'll use the lower frequency system where the people might be deeper. The students have learned the theory behind it in the classroom, and now they bring the instrument to the site, collect their own data, and they learn how to process their own data. It's not like a practice thing, so it's, it's real, and you have to take it seriously. But being able to apply theory into the real world and to potentially help other people as well is really cool. There's often an air pocket within a casket. That's very reflective to our energy that we're sending into the ground here. So we see an anomaly just from the presence of an elongated air pocket. We also meet up in the computer lab and they learn how to process the data that they collect and then interpret it as well. With archaeology, there's so much that you can really do. There's a lot of opportunity overseas and now I've learned locally as well, which was something that I didn't know before. We were able to survey that whole site for the town. They know there's some unmarked burials and uh, we found that there was actually almost 90 unmarked burials at that site. So now with what we've done for them, they're gonna appeal to the town to get a bit of funding and see if they can do this restoration work there. These people, some of their names have been lost to time, right? And we can bring their names back.